Hey everyone, welcome to Marketing by John. I'm gonna address something that we all are faced with today, and that is way too many cold emails, but how it can work for your business. Now, the internet's been around for a while, and marketers and salespeople have figured out how to utilize it to get what they need and or want, which is more sales for their business. It started out with banner ads all over websites. Then it moved into Google ads on search. Then, and at the same time, email became a thing and we were able to email cold email prospects. Email marketing open rates were like 90% at that particular point. Then social media became a thing. And now we could create social media accounts where we could get our message out there. Then we realized we could run ads on social media. So we started running ads. At the same time, we realized, well, we can direct message people on some of these platforms. And so we started direct messaging them along with emailing them. It's evolving the way we can market and sell on digital platforms. But email is still one of the best places to get in contact with somebody that you want to. We see cold emails every day in your inbox, without a doubt. You probably have 20 minimum businesses or sales reps or SDRs or CEOs of companies contacting you. And I'm guessing that 99.9999999999% of them you don't give a about. But what you have to realize is that no matter where you go, 99.99999% of people that see your thing don't give a That's what we're all up against. Information overload, advertising desensitization, as well as platforms actually turning ad effectiveness off by hiding privacy and things like that. Facebook made the announcement, Google made the announcement that they're changing the way they target. But I'm here to tell you that cold messaging still works absolutely still works. And for many of you, it actually might be the best way to get results for your company. The problem doesn't lie in the tactic. The problem lies in the content that you're sending out or the intent that you have. This is the single hardest thing for people to grasp. I know this for a fact because Good Monster does both of these things every day. We have a service where we do sales outreach and we have services where we do marketing. And regardless of the platform, whether it's Instagram organic, Instagram ads, Facebook organic, Facebook ads, Snapchat, TikTok, email, LinkedIn, it doesn't matter the platform, Google. It is the creative, it is the content that makes people care, not the platform. So cold emailing works, it just works if you understand what somebody's mindset is when they open your cold email. So you can't go in with the, hey, I'm the CEO of tech company XYZ and I really think you'd love our product. That won't work. Even if you have a clever subject line, which is re colon meeting request, I don't know, meeting you asked for. If they open that and it still falls flat in the message, it doesn't matter that you got the open. Same goes for an another, amaz- another amazing platform, which is Instagram DM. Same goes for another amazing platform, which is LinkedIn DM. Same goes for Twitter. They all are great platforms if you know the copy to put in there and or the images or GIFs or whatever it might be, right? So here's my tip for you all. Utilize these platforms. Utilize the cold approach cold DM somebody, cold email somebody. In another podcast, I'll talk about you know how to actually source the email addresses and verify them and get them. But for right now, this works. It only works though if you know the message to send people and you only know how to craft a good message if you know the mindset that they're in. Here's the simple way to address the mindset that they are in. Right now, when they open your email that you're writing right now, the subject, the other message, They don't need your and on the small, tiny, tiny, tiny chance that they do, that's why cold email works in quantity, in volume. You have to send out thousands of emails to get the one person who happens to need what you want. That's what you're going for first, is to catch that one person. On the back side of that, or parallel to that, you're trying to send messages to get people to trust you 
whoever you are, if you're an SDR, if you're a client development representative, if you're a CEO or a founder or owner or whatever it is, if you're a journalist looking for articles, you need to get them to trust you. So at first, you need to make them aware of what you are, who you are, and what you do. Not what you want, but what value you can offer them. And I don't mean value like, hey, we're a great marketing company that can change your business world because they don't give a without trusting you, okay? So you need to understand the mindset is that they don't need what you're offering right now, but they might in the future. So if you can figure out, you, you know your audience, you know your industry, you know the decision maker that you're targeting. If you can figure out what problems they have right now, figure out an excuse to email them and then figure out how you can stand a chance. It's not gonna be for everybody, but you can't win if you're trying to please everybody. But if you can find a chance to helping them with a pain point that they have right now, your chances of making a sale when they need what you offer go drastically up in the future. It's not gonna happen right now. Remember, we're not talking about the ones that maybe need what you're offering right now. It's few and far between, okay? So my suggestion for a structure would be to figure out the pain point, understand that they're so incredibly busy, and here's what you do. You, you send the first email. Don't try to trick them. This used to work to try to get their response, but don't try to trick them. Send an email that says, hi, so-and-so, I came across you via LinkedIn or Twitter or Instagram or at a conference or this YouTube video that I was watching, whatever it is, okay? That's your excuse to email them. And then just say, here's what I do. If you ever need help with marketing or sales or whatever it is right now, I'd love for you to consider me. That's the basic framework. I encourage you to make it funny, add a funny GIF in there, make fun of yourself, do something like that because you're much more likely to get a response. But that opens the door. They probably don't give a If you leave it short, they may read the whole thing. Then what you do is you come back trying to help them solve a problem which probably isn't related to your business. But this is your opportunity to earn a little bit of trust. These first two sort of phases, usually broken in, up into two emails, maybe a third, is a way that you can have an excuse to introduce yourself. Hopefully it's short enough and you got a good subject line so that they read the whole thing. You follow up with a solution to a problem that you're pretty sure that they have. And then you follow up trying to help them solve that problem. Getting somebody to say, no, I don't want your help finding rock star candidates. Or no, I don't want your help introducing me to a new potential client is a lot harder for them to do than saying, no, I don't want your sales service. Or no, I don't want to be, I don't want you to do my financial planning, whatever it is. Okay. So again, Email number one, how you found them and what you do if they ever need it. Email number two, reach back out, offer to solve a problem for them. And then probably email number three, follow up on that offer to solve a problem for them. And then every once in a while, once a month, once every other week, something like that, follow back up and try to solve that problem without their permission. Keep doing that and you're much more likely to build a good relationship. You can do this on email. You could potentially do it on Instagram direct messages. You could do it on LinkedIn direct messages. You could do it on Twitter direct messages. You get my point. But Or you could do them on all the platforms. But you can be annoying if what you're truly trying to do is help them. That's the best strategy for cold messaging in today's internet world. If you found this helpful, make sure you uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, share it with any friends you might think would find this valuable, especially if they're a salesperson. Holy sh- Uh, And if you're listening to this on a podcast, leave me a good review, please, please, please leave a review. Even if it's not a good review, please leave me a review so I know that this podcast hits in some way or another. Peace.